Hi everyone, Hussein here. Welcome to my channel. I'm an Unreal Engine authorized instructor and the author of the recently released Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5 book. I've been teaching and using Unreal Engine 5 for the past few years and I've accumulated some tips, tricks and techniques of which I'd like to share with you. I am positive that these techniques will improve your workflow and productivity. If it does, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Unreal Engine based content. Let's get started. In this video, I'd like to show you some time-saving features using the Outliner. So let's say you want to collapse the whole list over here. So you have an option of clicking on this gear icon and say collapse all, uh, or you can say expand all. So instead of using this gear icon, I just hold on my shift key. I'll click the, on the topmost triangle over here. And if I let go of my shift key now, click again, and I'll see everything has been collapsed. I find this faster way of doing things. The second thing is talking about these filters over here. So instead of looking for something in the long list over here, let's say if you want to look for the directional light, just type in directional light. Instead of that, I use these filters. To enable the filters, I'll click on this Add Filter menu. You just choose the actors that you want to view. In my case, I have most of this enabled. And if I choose all my cameras, I just click on cameras and I've got most of my cameras selected over here. This is a much faster way of looking for things instead of using the search button or just scrolling down. The content browser has the same features. It also has the add filter menu. You can select all the actors. And now if you click on any of them, they will just filter through the stuff that you need to see. Material instances, materials, level sequences. And you can just switch them off if you want to. Let's look at the next tip. By default in Unreal Engine, if you select any of the actors in the viewport, you will have them selected in the outliner as well. Perhaps you don't want this to happen. What I can do is I can go up to the gear icon over here and I say disable the always frame selection. So now if I start choosing my actors, they will not be exposed in the outliner. Before we jump to the next tip, I'd like to talk about my book. If you're interested in using Unreal Engine for filmmaking, I strongly suggest you to check out Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5. It covers topics such as principles of photography, storyboarding, Pixel mega scans, Lumen and Nanite technology, MetaHumans, virtual cameras, and much, much more. It has 400 pages of step-by-step -step instructions for creating a film from scratch. I'm sure you'll find it a great resource and you'll also be able to download a PDF copy of the book. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, on to the next tip. I have this project and I'm unable to select the actors in my scene simply because I have a fog card in front of my camera and the fork card has some transparency materials. To be able to select the actors, you will have to disable transparency. You can do so by going up to the gear icon up here and disabling allow translucent selection. Or you can simply press T in your viewport. Now I can start selecting my actors. That's it for this video. If you find any of the tips useful, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you like more Unreal Engine 5 tips, tricks and techniques, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one and bye for now.